Dr. Ramson Mumba is founder and senior pastor of El Shaddai International in Europe, USA, and Africa. For well over a decade, he has become a renowned TV personality in over 120 countries, an entrepreneur, prolific church planter, visionary leader, conference speaker, and author. Pastor Estrella is an award-winning actress by profession from Latin America and an entrepreneur who has run a successful business for many years. Having been in ministry for over 15 years, Dr. Mumba has planted nine churches on three different continents. El Shaddai International Christian Center started with 20 people, but today the ministry has grown to become a spiritual home to thousands of people across the globe, from government officials and diplomats to famous actors and actresses, entrepreneurs and attorneys to students and homemakers. People from every background, race, culture, and demographic have found purpose for their lives and a sense of belonging at El Shaddai. The ministry that God has committed to pastors Ramson and Estrella is not only distinguished by the down-to-earth humorous life application, practical and yet profound truths and revelation knowledge that they bring to the body of Christ, but also by the visible demonstration of God's power with signs and wonders following their powerful preaching of the gospel. The results are undeniable, from miraculous healings from diseases such as cancer, heart disease, and crippling arthritis and other naturally incurable diseases, to training and empowering people who go on to overcome natural limitations and become successful in every arena of life. Young people who society had given up on have now become college graduates, starting successful careers and families, and becoming great contributors to society while maximizing their God-given potential. Potential. The grace of God is clearly evident on this man and woman of God and has been attested to by many distinguished and well-respected leaders in the body of Christ. Over the last 12 years, Dr. Mumba has also had the privilege of learning from and preaching with his pastor and mentor, Dr. Creflo Dollar, around the world, including being appointed as the chairman of Creflo Dollar Ministries Board in Europe several years ago. In addition to hosting many distinguished leaders, Pastor Mumba has also hosted and or ministered at some of the best Christian events and conferences around the world, alongside other awesome ministry gifts such as Bishop T.D. Jakes, Kenneth and Gloria Copeland, Jesse Duplantis, Dr. Pat Francis, Casey and Wendy Treat, Dr. Bill Winston, Mike Murdoch, Benny Hinn, and many others too numerous to mention. At the height of Dr. Mumba's influence and success in the United Kingdom, the Lord spoke to him about relocating the ministry's global headquarters from London to Houston. After making the necessary adjustments to obey God and successfully transition the ministry, today the Mumbas make their home in Houston while continuing to provide leadership to a global network of churches and pastors. Pastors Ramson and Estrella have an insatiable hunger for God and an infectious love for people and life. Their driving passion is to help others maximize their God-given potential and fulfill their highest aspirations. We invite you to come and be a part of this global love revolution and find a family-friendly environment, extravagant worship, and practical Bible-based teaching that can not only make your life work, but also provide you with an opportunity to make a mark on this generation for Jesus Christ that can never be erased. We look forward to welcoming you soon. God bless you. Hello and welcome to Get Understanding. I'm Ramson Mumba and I'm glad you could join us for today's broadcast. Bienvenidos sean todos ustedes. Quédense al programa, lo van a disfrutar mucho y sé que será de mucha bendición. Soy su pastora, Estrella Mumba. Today as we get into the word of God, our faith is that the word of God will speak to your situation. And as it begins to speak and bring life to those things that might be challenging for you right now, we pray that the spirit of faith will come upon you and you will come to the place where the victories in your life are greater than any battle and any challenge that you will ever face. And we look forward to seeing you after the broadcast. Ahora veamos el programa. Nos vemos al ratito. No se muevan. If you don't want to spend your life with God dismissing you, based on the fact that you are not naturally or humanly perfect, 
then I am suggesting that you at least listen to what I'm saying. Yes. If, you, if you are, what, another 20, 30 years of God dismissing you, would you like that? No. Always feeling short. He says, I wanted to, but this was a two-way street. I had to move, they had to move. And I wouldn't move out of turn. I told them, if you do this, you'll be blessed. But since you didn't do that, if I bless you, I'd be a liar. And I'm always as righteous as I am merciful. My mercy wants to give it to you, but my righteousness holds me back because I would have to deny a part of myself in order to bless you, even if you haven't done it, if you are coming to me on the basis of the old covenant. The old covenant requires that you must be able to personally qualify. So he found a fault with it. He found a fault with it. And he disregarded them. Why no merit? This is big. <laughs> Why no merit? Simply, because you will never be good enough for God. I know those of you that are impressed with yourself can't believe this. Let me, let me give you the biggest hindrance. <laughs> this is true. The biggest hindrance, here is the real reason why people don't get saved. They believe they are too good to be damned. I don't need that. In other words, I'm good enough. It's not necessary. What makes God necessary? When you have a revelation of who he is, not who you are. Let me say it again. What makes God necessary is when you understand how holy and righteous he is. And however good you are, that you will never be able to please him. That's when Jesus becomes necessary because he now becomes your substitute. And based on his perfection, by the gospel, you get a revelation of righteousness by faith. That in spite of how short you fall, there is somebody who, who, who fulfilled the law. And he is the end of the law. Now he is crediting to you righteousness if you can believe him. That's why for me, Jesus has always been something. He is something now, and he will always be something awesome in my life. He is the bridge. Don't let me start preaching on, because Ezekiel called him a wheel in the middle of a wheel. I will leave that alone. This is me. <laughs> Look at that. So, 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 here is, here is, here, is, here it is. Why a covenant of no marriage? Basically, like you say on the streets, basically. <laughs> because you have no marriage. That's like you bringing all, let's take, and this is not a put down, it's just by way of illustration. You taking all your currency from a developing nation in a wheelbarrow, <laughs> trying to buy a car. In the United Kingdom. You can have as much money in that wheelbarrow as you want. But if its value is not equivalent to the British pound. And how many of them you need to buy the car. You may have as much of it as you want. But you will still not walk out with the car. You may have as many wor you know, works, good works in your wheelbarrow. They say, I think it's some historians say, during World War II, there were countries where you could take a whole wheelbarrow uh, full of money to buy a loaf of bread, but you couldn't buy it because of inflation. You know that for some of you who've come from different places where they had to actually revalue the currency and drop three zeros. Because you had 20 million, but it was actually two quid. <laughs> So, so for you, you were a millionaire. <laughs> Except you couldn't get out of town, even with your 20 million to your name, you couldn't even go to the, okay. <laughs> so you might have 20 million full of works, but who's valuing your currency? God is the only one who's valuing this currency. So here's what we do down here. 
We borrow all kinds of wheelbarrows. Your uncle, take my wheelbarrows. We're going over there to buy a Rolls Royce. If after we count all that stuff, mm. it is still 100,000. And the Rolls Royce is quarter of a million. 250,000. So yes, you may have more than the guy who's got a little wheelbarrow, but you still won't walk away with the Rolls Royce. What will it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his own soul? What can a man give in exchange for his soul? What's the price of your soul? Can your prayers buy your soul? Can your offerings buy your soul? Can your fasting buy your soul? Can your church attendance buy your soul? Can your soul winning buy your soul? Can your worship and praise save you? No. So why are we accumulating more wheelbarrows of works instead of realizing, my God, I can't do it, but look at your goodness. You offered it to me for free if I can just believe that Jesus did it for me. But guess what? I'm too proud to not get any credit for this. So I'll stick with the system where I can say we are blessed because we just pray so much. We are blessed because, you know, my grandma was always on her knees. We got a big ministry because... You know, you want to put your butt in there. And the new covenant, we'll get to it as we develop this. God didn't want you in it. First of all, you would mess it up. Secondly, there's nothing you can do to contribute. You, your wheelbarrow is still not enough money to walk away with your soul. So he made, you remember Isaiah 53 last Sunday night, he made the son of the soul of his son an offering for sin because he was after your soul. No merit, because it's an act of mercy. If God would leave us to earn it, even if you lived a thousand years, you wouldn't have enough to earn the blessing. Let's talk about just one more thing and then I'll close. This is so simple because it's a life principle. What did you pay for your heart? Hmm? Those of you that like earning everything. And you will not be given anything because you will pull yourself up by your own bootstraps. You're a self-made man. You tell me how much you're paying and you paid for your liver. How about your lungs? How about the pupil in your eye? How about the 500,000 different folded flesh, neb fibers in your ears so you can hear the song and sound of an ocean and the song of a robin. How about your 60,000 miles worth of veins and arteries? Join Dr. Ramson Mumba for his Word Explosion conferences that are being held in different cities around the world throughout 2013. We are the Church of Jesus Christ, and we are going to be a glorious church without spot or wrinkle, and we are on our way to receiving everything that Jesus Christ died to procure for us. Come on, give the Lord a hand of praise in the house this morning. In Cardiff, Wales, April 20th, Houston, Texas, USA, May 3rd through the 5th. Birmingham, England, May 18th. Bradford, England, June 22nd. Lusaka, Zambia, July 12th through the 14th. London, England, August 2nd through the 4th. Sheffield, England, September 21st. Oxford, England, October 19th. If you're waiting to be punished, Jesus was already punished. Your sin was already condemned in his body. Your sickness was nailed to that cross. Your poverty was nailed to that cross. Your fear was nailed to that cross. Your defeat was turned into victory on that cross. Your mistakes were paid for on that cross. And today you are the blood-bought 
to a victory in every area of your life because Jesus Christ of Nazareth was your substitute. Hallelujah. Email info at El Shaddai Today.com. Call us on 713-780-0600 or from the United Kingdom call 0845-6022-770. Word Explosion Conferences being held in different cities around the world throughout 2013. You can't earn life. Everything real. How about your hair? No, I'm not talking about the one you got, the one that grows. <laughs> Don't go there, stay with the sermon. How much do you pay for your nails? I'm not talking about the acrylics. <laughs> Come out impressing the brothers. And brothers, you didn't know that that stuff was different until one day she breaks it and then the glue comes off. Is this an orangutan? Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Thank God for, the, for our women. <laughs> hey Amen. Don't laugh. They, they make the world better when they make an effort. That's right. Now, you don't have to make an effort. You just, it's up to you. <laughs> Amen. Thank God for the men. Amen. Yeah, thank God for the men who wash. <laughs> A man who wash... He's a glory to God. Amen. Some men take off their socks, the whole house. Everybody need a gas mask. <laughs> Talking about I'm walking in the footsteps of Abraham. No. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, how much did you pay for your children? How about your parents, even if they may not have been everything you wanted? How much did you pay for them to conceive you? Huh? How about Adam? How much did he pay for the Garden of Eden? How much did he have to earn to feed himself? The Bible says he worked, but the scripture is very clear. God fed him. It's always been God's plan. Even when you're working, your job is not your source. That's a privilege to express your gifting so you can maximize your potential and you can make a meaningful contribution. But God takes care of us. Amen. We trust in the living God, not in money, not in the NHS, the health system. We trust in the living God. The medicine can heal you. Jesus is my healing. How much can you pay Amen. for the blood that's walking, I mean, running through your veins? How much can you pay for the fact that you woke up this morning and you knew yourself. How much is that worth to you? Huh? So why is it difficult to believe that actually God wants to give you approval without earning it since he wakes you up every morning without asking you for money for air? He causes the sun to shine even on the guy who puts his finger up and says, is there a God? So what makes you think he's so fragile that just because you did some wrong thing, the whole of your world should collapse? If that was the case, where, I mean, unbelievers wouldn't be growing beyond two years. God is not good because you're good. I'm trying to get you to see who God is. Remember, to be really saved is not to see who you are. To be saved is to have a revelation of the righteousness of God. <laughs> to find out the standard of this holy God and to find out how merciful he is that he was willing to lift us up. You remember the song at Christmas, born to raise the sons of earth. Jesus, our Emmanuel. I love that part. Listen, what, what, what? What makes you think that you will pray so many times that then you will qualify for your heart to be healed? Where do you get that idea from? That you will bring enough of an offering for your kidneys to start working. That you will drink enough water from the Jordan for your child to come home. That you will wear enough prayer shawls for your husband to stop being an idiot. 
Huh? I mean, what, what gives you the idea that you will pray 20 times for you to conceive? Like your prayer is the reason you have a child. How about the people that don't pray and conceive? I mean, if prayer was the only thing. Sometimes it's because when you're doing it, you're not happy. Oh, it's a medical fact. Get happy. <laughs> I'm talking to somebody. Here is a life of liberty. God wants you without your effort. Because your effort can't contribute to who he is. The greatest thing, I'm, and I'm closing with this statement, the greatest thing any human being can do is to believe God. God's greatest joy is simply to be believed. That's all. I believe he's my daddy. That's all. Stop buying with your prayer. Oh, we need to pray because we're going to get to that, how that fits in. Righteous people pray, but we don't pray to move God. God already moved. We don't fast to move God. No, we move our flesh. So we can switch off from Emmerdale and EastEnders. Unclutter your spirit so you can hear the voice of God instead of just hearing boom, 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 boom. Your spirit is so cluttered, the only noise you hear is LBC. BBC London. Radio One. Stop. I hereby declare the season of bondage is over. Amen. Amen. Qué hermoso tiempo hemos pasado juntos. Gracias por haberse quedado a ver el programa. Sabemos que les fue de mucha bendición como lo ha sido para nosotros también. Thank you so much for joining us. We are just all the time blown away by the amazing testimonies that come as a result of this broadcast. We are praying for you today. We want you to know you're not alone. You are never alone because if nothing else, please remember that this ministry covers you in prayer, believing for the very best that God has for you and your family. And so until next time, this is Ramson and Estrella reminding you that wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, you get wisdom and in all of your getting, get, get understanding. understanding. God bless you. Hasta luego. The message you have watched today is part of a teaching series by Dr. Ramson Mumba called The Gospel According to God. For a gift of $18 or more, you can get the entire unedited series. Please call immediately and we will also include a bonus message on A Better Covenant. Dr. Ramson and Australia Mumba would also love to stand with you for your most urgent and pressing prayer needs. Please call on 713 780 Zero six zero zero. Join Dr. Ramson Mumba for his Word Explosion conferences that are being held in different cities around the world throughout 2013. We are the Church of Jesus Christ and we are going to be a glorious church without spot or wrinkle and we are on our way to receiving everything that Jesus Christ died to procure for us. Come on, give the Lord a hand of praise in the house this morning. In Cardiff, Wales, April 20th, Houston, Texas, USA, May 3rd through the 5th. Birmingham, England, May 18th. Bradford, England, June 22nd. Lusaka, Zambia, July 12th through the 14th. London, England, August 2nd through the 4th. Sheffield, England, September 21st. Oxford, England, October 19th. If you are waiting to be punished, Jesus was already punished. 
Your sin was already condemned in his body. Your sickness was nailed to that cross. Your poverty was nailed to that cross. Your fear was nailed to that cross. Your defeat was turned into victory on that cross. Your mistakes were paid for on that cross. And today, you have the blood bought right to a victory in every area of your life because Jesus Christ of Nazareth was your substitute. Hallelujah. Email info at El Shaddai Today dot com. Call us on seven one three seven eight zero zero six zero zero or from the United Kingdom call zero eight four five six zero two two seven seven zero. Word Explosion conferences being held in different cities around the world throughout two thousand thirteen. Thank you for watching Get Understanding with Ramson and Australia Mumba. This broadcast has been made possible by friends, partners, and viewers like you in this area. We trust that you've been blessed and thank you in advance for your continued prayers and generous financial support. For information about our ministries or to download our free podcasts, visit us at www.elshaddaitoday.com.